Senior citizen Connie McCreeth knows the pain of becoming homeless. She had been living out of a U-Haul van in Spring Valley since last August. I have an income, uh, but circumstances with economy, I can't afford the permanent roof over my head. Now she's in a transitional shelter downtown, run by the nonprofit serving seniors, awaiting permanent housing. She says many people recently falling into homelessness are like her, not drug addicts, but impacted by serious health conditions and unable to afford rent in San Diego. And I know there's many like me are very grateful and appreciative. And some say, oh, you still don't have a permanent, permanent place. From where I've been to this, I all have my, my basic needs met. Early Thursday morning, 1,600 volunteers at over 37 deployment sites throughout the county helped to put a number on San Diego's growing homeless population. While final numbers will take months to tally, the early results of the point-in-time count, which were collected in real time on a mobile app, showed the issue is getting worse. During a press conference with local officials, the numbers climbed by the hundreds. The majority of the people that we spoke to out on the street this morning said that they do want help. They want shelter. They want housing. It was inspiring to hear the degree to which they are willing to accept the services if we offer them those services. Serving Seniors President and CEO Paul Downey says the point in time count is far from perfect and the true number of people experiencing homelessness in the county is likely much higher. It, it is a flawed system. We do the best we can to try to count every person who is unhoused in San Diego on a single day, but the undercount is probably 30 to 40 percent at least. He says the current state of homelessness is the worst he's seen in his 30 years working in the field. He says local leaders need to do more to speed up affordable housing projects, connect residents to a wide range of shelter options, and protect tenants on the brink of homelessness. So these are our friends and neighbors, and they became homeless here. They didn't move here because San Diego is a great place to be homeless. They became homeless here because something bad happened to them, uh, primarily economically, to lead them into this, uh, this, this spot that they're in now. On the same day as the point in time count, a homeless shelter opened at the Old Central Library in downtown. The 36-bed shelter will operate at night and exclusively serve women. Official numbers for this year's count will be released in the coming months, which will help determine the amount of federal funding for homelessness directed to the region. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.